I was born and raised on Galveston Island. Um, I, uh, matter of fact, was uh, raised there from from uh, September second, nineteen forty-five, till till I went off to college. And uh, Galveston was a fantastic place to, to grow up and be a part of. And then from there went on to Lamar University in, in Beaumont and uh, pursued my uh, civil engineering degree from there. Did you um, start working uh, right after you got out of school? Yeah, as a matter of fact, even before I got out of school, there were a couple summer jobs I had. Um, what were those? those? Well, I worked one summer with the Texas Highway Department, predominantly doing survey work. And then I spent two summers after that, basically between like my junior senior years, working for the Corps of Engineers. One summer was in the geotechnical lab with the Corps of Engineers at Fort Point there in Galveston. Mm -hmm. And um, and the second summer was in their civil design group, wow. and both, both in Galveston. Um, and when you were at Lamar, did they have a student chapter of ASC? There? Yes, they sure did. Were you uh, a member of that? Absolutely. It was a fantastic organization to be a part of, uh, and I was really pleased to be involved with that organization. Matter of fact, ended up becoming one of the officers in the group. Uh, and when was your first uh, exposure to a, a, either a national or a Texas section meeting? Did you did you ever go to any of those as a student? Yes. Uh, we, were, we were fortunate at Lamar University. Joe Sewell, who was one of our professor in, in water resources, he ended up becoming one of the executive uh, directors of the Texas section when he moved over to University of Houston. And he was very strong and a strong advocate of ASCE. As a matter of fact, they, uh, Joe Sewell strongly encouraged all of us to, not only as students, but when we graduated, to continue our association with ASCE. And so he was, he was quite a strong mentor. Uh, when we were juniors and seniors, predominantly, we attended the Texas section. I remember attending a Texas section meeting in, in Abilene that we went up there for. And, um, Oh, I'm trying to remember the other one. It seemed like the other one was is in a college station at Bryant. Yeah. Uh, um, after you graduated from uh, mm -hmm. Lamar, did you start working for uh, Turner Colony and Brayton at that time? I, I worked. I started working for them as well. My wife and I got married, and then I worked started working for them a couple of weeks later in uh, June of '68. In your in your career, uh, what did you do primarily? Were you in uh, general civil, uh, transportation, uh, land development? What was your kind of your specialty? Well. When I first started working with TCNB, I was in their water resources uh, group. But shortly thereafter, I, I went into the, um, well, I had a short stint in, in this 40-year period <coughs> with the Navy. And I went through um, their program. We can talk about that later. But, but uh, when, I, when I returned back from them and went to work back with TCNB, I was predominantly in their land development and then public works in the more, most recent years and then now I'm in their uh, program management group. Right. Uh, when you um, started uh, working with TCMB, uh, were, were there people there or uh, mentors, uh, people that were maybe pretty involved? You mentioned uh, 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 Mr. Sewell mm -hmm. uh, as one of your professors that was involved. Uh, were there other people that uh, encouraged you to, to attend some of the student, the Houston branch meetings? Yes. And uh, another question: Were they still did they were they still going to the Houston Engineering and Scientific Society building uh, meeting there at that time? That's correct. We were we were meeting at Hess at the Hess building on McGowan. Now Hess, the Houston Engineering Society and Scientific Society building is in a different location now, but back in those days they were on McGowan. And uh, Nat Turner, who uh, was one of our principals of Turner College Break. He actually was a national president, and oh. uh, and then Bob Colley and 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 Bob Braden were also very actively involved in national ASCE. And uh, then there were a few younger engineers like J.R. Collins and John Ingram and a few others. That uh, Cecil Allen, uh, who is also a, a Texas section past president. Uh, they all were strongly encouraging the young engineers like myself to continue to be involved in, in either ASC or TSB. And uh, when I first started getting, I was actually involved in both organizations, but it finally got to the point that I had to make a decision because of time commitments and decided to, to go the avenue of ASC because of the, uh, the benefit I saw with that organization. Now, when did you start serving in the officer um, kind of rotation in Houston? Did you? Well, in, okay, I, I, was, I was actually gone for a couple of years in the Navy 
when I came back uh, to DCMB, I started getting involved with the Houston branch as their what they call their hospitality committee, and the chair of that, which in, you know encouraged you know and, and checked people in as they came to meetings, um, and then. After doing that for a couple of years, then I, I started working my way up through the elected ranks mm -hmm. and eventually became uh, president of Houston Branch. Uh, do you know uh, about what years those oh, were? Oh, that, that would have been about 1975-76 when I started. And then um, I was the president of the Houston Branch in, uh, God, if I get this right, 1980-81. <laughs> I believe that's correct. Okay. And, uh, um, and then from there. 